Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I'm continuing my playthrough of the SNES classic, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and now return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. And we're back. We uh, finished off the first couple of floors on the Tower of Hera, took a little more damage than I expected, and detoured back to the cave. And here we are, heading up to floor number three. This is where we're going to get the Moon Pearl, which will allow us to uh, exist and work in the Dark World without turning into a fluffy bunny. I'm not sure what it says about the... Uh, the developers that they think a fluffy bunny is going to be uh, the the representation of Link's innermost state. All right, let's head upstairs. Uh, oh, that's right. These guys uh, are immune to that, so I guess. Oh. No. Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess I will want that after all. Alright. Uh. Bother. I was trying to remember. Make sure the switch is set to orange. Okay, I did leave myself a note to make sure that the switch was set to orange. And... I swear that looks like red, but apparently it's orange. Alright, um... Oh, get a hold of the controller there. Oh, for serious. Yeah, and these guys do knock you uh, backwards. So uh, be mindful of that. star switches move stuff around which is always fun uh, <clears throat> and then and knowing that and then we should be able to get in there to here uh, where was the other place I wanted to go Although first, I know there was one of these holes that I wanted to drop down, and I... Oh, bless you. Now if I could just get one more kind soul to donate a heart for the cause. Well, then I'll take the magic. This one? No. Which floor am I on? What day is today? I'm on the third floor. Okay, um... Three holes, make sure... Star switch... Okay. Okay, all right. For some reason, I, I okay, I, I swear my memory. I, I just went over this this morning. <clears throat> all right. Yikes! <laughs> I'm too young to have these problems. I promise. Hi, friend. There we go. There's the compass that tells us where the dungeon is. And on Junior, it is I, the Elder. An orb known as the Moon Pearl is in this tower. 
Whoever holds the moon pearl is protected so that his form will not change in the dark world. If only you could have told me that sooner. <clears throat> you must find it and escape from the tower. Don't forget the moon pearl. Also known as the reason why you're here. Oh, and the money. I mean, adventuring doesn't pay as good as I would like, but uh, it's better than nothing. <clears throat> there we go. Now, you'll notice that we got that guy over there. And we need to find a way to deal with him. I bet there is going to be a hole that we follow through on the next floor. I say that like I didn't read ahead. I read ahead. Although it doesn't seem... <laughs> Judging by the way things have been so far, it doesn't seem like it's mattered much. Alright. Yeah, yeah, gotta watch out for those guys, too. Uh, those little bloom... What just fell down? Hmm, I'll take those, though. Hi, friend. I'll be happy when we get a stronger sword, that's for sure. Alright. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to leave those. I am definitely going to leave those, because I'm probably going to need those later. Well, you'll see why in a minute. Uh, what I need to do is I need to hit this guy. And then hit this guy. And there we go. I have fallen in the perfect spot for that. Da -da -da. You found the Moon Pearl! This protects the hero from the changing effects of the Golden Power. Alright. And that is... No, that's not what I want. That is... That's the fifth floor taken care of, right? Yep. Uh... Okay, there, there is a room full of fair, fairies around here, too. But we are at full health. We have three bottles of fairies. Here is... Oh, yeah. Here, here's where we get to the fun part of this particular boss. Actually, let's get to him safely first, and then uh, we'll get to the fun part of this particular boss. So, we come up to floor number six. We find ourselves at the boss. He looks like a steroid-enhanced version of <laughs> the, uh, the worm guys that we've been dealing with thus far. He is only vulnerable. Of course, he's not here. Uh, he travels in a random pattern. It is a very, very random pattern. He is only vulnerable in his tail. So that, that little thing trailing at the end of him, that's the only thing that will hurt him. Uh, and no, you can't do anything. You can't shoot him from over here or anything like that. And he will uh, bounce around and push you off the ledge if you're lucky. If you're unlucky, he'll push you in one of those holes there. <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> if he pushes you off the ledge, you just fall down to the fifth floor. If you go down one of those holes in the ledge, it lines up with another hole elsewhere. And you fall, well, considerably further. Oh, now you're here. Now that I don't want you to be here, you yahoo. Uh, so, yes, jumping down while he's right there would not be smart. Let's let him find his way to somewhere else. There we go. So you need to land a few good hits, and the more you hit him, the uh, faster he starts moving on the platform. I want to say it was six hits to the tail with the sword you currently have. Whew! That was close. Whew. Almost walked myself off the ledge. 
Ah! No! Oh, that was close. Oh, uh, when he knocks you off the ledge, I almost forgot. Ah oh! Oh! When he knocks you off the ledge, he returns to full health. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I just burned through a few of the hearts that were available down here, and when I go to meet them up this way, guess who's back to full health? That guy. All right, let's try this again. Six hits, ish. Patience, patience. Come on. Ooh, worm, get out the way. Get out the way. Ow! Oh, no! <laughs> Wasn't I just advising patience? I was just advising patience. What did I not show? Oh, patience. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get there. I'll get there. Ow! Oh, oh, come on. Uh, if you have a charged up spin strike, you, he, uh, he won't knock you completely off the edge, but only if he taps you on the sword as opposed to on the side or on the back. Um, it's one of those weird little quirks, but uh, obviously since you can't turn around once you're charged up, it does make that a little less useful. Actually, you know what? I'm tempted to leave bombs, but they could also blow me up. So I'll, I'll grab some bows and arrows just to, on the off chance I can get it shot off. The problem is, it takes so long for the arrow animation that I'm not sure that... Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I'm sure that there are people who will sit here and be all legless on them. Eh, the, the, the book legless, not the movie legless. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh! <laughs> oh, you bum. Crikey. Uh, I am sure there are people that can go all book like this on them and, and be awesome and graceful and fill them full of arrows. Help him with his Boromir impersonation. Oh. There we go. Ah! There's supposed to be a way to get him to charge you as well. Two? Three? We'll say two. No, that way it'll be either right or pleasantly surprised. Oh! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> nope. And I think that is the entirety of my heart reserve over here. Yep. All oh, because I got forgetful and stuff. Otherwise I would have had two more hearts to work with. That's yeah, right. At least I got three fairies in bottles, and there is a well around here where I can get more. Still. Actually, you know what? I don't. Hmm. 
Yeah, nobody said anything about the him being vulnerable to the ice. I, I was getting ready to say, you know, since I got this full magic meter, uh, that could be another way of getting this, but, uh, yeah. This guy. Come on. There we go. There's one. Two. Three. Ah! Oh, oh! Oh, come on. I can't carry these through, can I? Because throwing stuff seems to do more damage. Nope. Okay. <coughs> Alright, let's start this over one more time, shall we? One! No! <laughs> oh. Cheers. breath. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> okay, we got this. <clears throat> totally got this. This is not going to be my entire live stream is me fighting with this dude. I think the more scary part is that a lot of the people, uh, Reminding, writing little reminders of how the game works. Uh, point out that <laughs> you, on your trip to the Dark World, the first tower you reach is a steep increase in the difficulty level thus far. Oh, come on. Two? I think that's two. I think it's about to not matter. Oh, okay. Ah! Okay, let's try that again. <sighs> this, ladies and gentlemen, if I said it's not a speedrun, because I'm going to spend 20 minutes on this guy, I will kill him. You know what? I wonder if I just start planting bombs. Oh. oh. One, two, three, ah! <clears throat> that is the most annoying low health reminder in every game, out of every game I've ever played. I mean, on the one hand, I appreciate that they warn you that you're low on life because sometimes you're, you're getting wrapped up in a game and you don't know. On the other hand, uh, th this is one step short of some weenie going, Hey, listen. Hey, listen. There's one. Uh, I can't remember if I hit him before that happened. So we'll call that one. Two. Alright. Three. Four. Five. Six. There we go! Hi, friend. Oh. Yes. Another heart to boot. There we go. Okay. 
you won the Pendant of Wisdom. <laughs> Seems a little more like the Pendant of Persistence, but uh, with this, you have collected all three pendants. Go now to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. Okay. <clears throat> 20 minutes in... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and walk this. Because we're not that far away. Uh, oh, hi, friend. Because <coughs> we go there. We go down here. Since there's no fall, there's no fall damage in the game. That does make it kind of nice. And, yeah, that's what I thought. There were... Guys, I really didn't want to deal with. And this takes us to the next cave. To the next cave. Ooh. I forgot that that was an option. I don't need the heart, but I did need the arrows. And I need to pick up four more bombs now. Fortunately, since I get to go to the woods, the village is nearby, and the village had a guy had the thing that lets you uh, let, let us get some rupees first. Okay. Uh, map. Short-term memory. Okay, good. So the woods is there. We got the fortune teller. I'll go into town, get the bombs real quick. And I, I love the little sparkly reminder where you left your doorway. Just in case you needed to know. And so we got options. Hi. I'll stop that. I'll stop that. Alright, so up that way is to the forest. Um, what I want to do first is I want to come in here. Because uh, there's two parts that I need to... while I'm here. First. I was looking for a big painting. This is apparently the big painting. So... Every time I went to the village trying to hunt down the big painting for the rupees, it was that little Mario painting, and it was for four rupees. That is rather anticlimactic. <coughs> oh, I was coming for bombs. Hi, friend. Uh, the little shack over this way. That always seems to have a couple of bombs and some arrows, and every now and again, these rats are good for a decent amount of rupees. There's one, there's some arrows, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So I'm back up to full arrows, full bombs. Now I will head into the woods. I'll pick that up too. Uh, yeah, there, there's a couple of caves in this area that uh, almost always have a few blue rupees that make it well worth the effort. This part will become important later, but we need the power, uh, not the power glove, the uh, titan mitt. And then, and then we can, uh, yeah, okay, we got those two things. Once we get the Titan Mitt, then we can uh, pick up those larger rocks and do some other stuff that makes life all sorts of interesting. Uh, hi, friend. Into the forest. The good musical, not the bad movie. Oh, um, 
Yeah, I, I double checked because I thought it was the case, but I couldn't remember. Was it that one? Yeah, that was the other one where all the big money was. <laughs> Four red rupees, because those guys are worth it. And I wanted to go. Oh, 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 oh. oh what in the world? <sighs> I struggle. Even on a good day, I struggle. Uh, the bullies are... Uh, sorry, I was in the middle of saying something and I couldn't even remember. Uh, the bullies are immune to all damage. They will randomly bump into you and steal items. Oh, I need the good book. The hero's triumph on Cataclysm's Eve wins the symbol of virtue. The master sword he will then retrieve, keeping the knight's line true. <gasps> yes! And there we go. Oh, the fog has lifted. Suddenly. Contacts you telepathically. Anon Jr., it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. That's supposed to be a hint. That was subtlety was back in the 90s. The destiny of this land is in your hands. No pressure. Please, an engineer. Oh, if I was at full health, the other nice thing is uh, this is where you finally get the ability to shoot the little energy bolts. So, no, that's not what I want. What I want is this guy here. So if you look down at the bottom right under equipment, where you see I got the green jerkin. I got the three quarters of a heart, the red shield. That is the second level shield. And you'll see the two next to the sword. That is the second of four levels. The little bolts that you fire when you're at full health do the same damage as the fighter sword you started off with. So it does one instead of two. Um, but when you actually whack them with the physical sword, it does more damage. We'll get the opportunity to upgrade it two more times as we go. And for the sake of completeness, we will be upgrading it all those times. You don't necessarily, according to what uh, according to what some people think, you don't need to, need to. But um, we'll get to that in a little bit. Let me take a break, get a little coffee, and then uh, we'll go from there. Well, that was fun. And I hope you had fun too. Next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. Current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow me there. You'll get notified when I go live, and you'll be able to chat along as we record the next six episodes. You'll also be able to join along for some of the other stuff I do on Twitch. It's all up there on the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel here. It really helps out. If you click the bell, you get notified of all the other stuff that goes up on the channel as well, like Coffee Craft Livestream Archives, Future Games Revisited Episodes, and uh, various other stuff that strikes my fancy. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, quips, queries, quotes, comments, complaints, or quibbles, leave them in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.